very good afternoon my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is stella speaking i'm really so excited for this video it has been a while since the last live trading video has been published and also i'm more excited about the signals being back with really good results uh, it was yesterday our first day and we already had a lot of good feedbacks from the members this gentleman here he's showing him uh, us his trades uh, these two are out of the money, but they are actually not our. T I don't know what he did here because uh, it is on the rank wrong entry. I think uh, the Euro USD was on profit the whole day. Um, this guy here also he shared with us his uh, profits, and you can see they are all in profit. Very nice and good signals we sent yesterday. Uh, this gentleman here also he sent to Angela. He's saying that it is his first day in the signals, and it is doing already very well. And also this guy he's saying nice thanks. Uh, nice signals and thanks so I'm really so happy and I'm so proud even this guy here he said he made uh, ten dollars it's okay I mean for the testing period and anyway I'm really so happy and proud about these results they are really doing very well so far with the new system of the breakout candle and Angela is taking care of that matter so uh, we are doing so far good and if you guys wish to join the premium signals please don't hesitate to contact Angela. You can find her contact details below this video in the description. Contact her today and hopefully we will see you there very soon. So let's start now with the live trading video. And one second, okay. And in this video, I'm planning to use that 20 pips a day strategy using a really small account size, just as uh, it was 120 and in just a few hours i made it 154 uh, and hopefully now in this video i'm gonna make it uh, to reach 200 dollars now the catch here is i need to find these pairs that can give me really good and high payment quickly um such as the gold sorry uh, gold yeah such as the gold and also the pound i'm gonna focus on these uh, pairs in this video um let me see now on the pound in zd Let's go to the four hour chart. So on the four hour chart on the pound and ZD, we can see that right now we are actually on a support level. That is for the four hour chart. Now what we can do is jumping now to the smaller time frames, such as 30 minutes. And right now I can actually find a good deal here. Let me just enter quickly. Nice. Now let me tell you the reason why did I place my trade right here. As you can see, we have here a support level so this can be considered as a support number one and here we have what can be considered as a support number two and right here we had a support number three now after the bouncing now it seems like we had here a bullish candle meaning the pair most likely seems to be reversing especially after seeing this candle here this reversed hammer when you see on a support level a candle look like that most likely this is a good sign that the pair or the, the market is gonna be reversing uh, it's gonna make a bullish reversal and seeing that on the left as well we have here another support level which is right here that's how things work here when you have a support level and it's reversing and the market is reversing after having a double bottom most likely what you are going to have is the pair is gonna now climb up like a stairs so we it, the, the the pair is gonna bounce in this support level gonna go up bounce in this resistance gonna fall down making a pullback bouncing on this support level and then gonna gonna continue its bullish momentum now of course that is what is supposed to happen not necessarily gonna happen every single time what made me made, what, what made me took this decision is seeing that I'm on the four hour chart on a support level, meaning I am I'm relying on the bigger time frame to know what is exactly my location in the market. And by that, by seeing the four hour chart, I am very sure that I'm right now on a support level and most likely the pair is going to reverse. And this is what is happening right now. We can see I am already uh, getting in profits. And since it is a 20 pips a day strategy, I'm going to set my take profit to be 20 pips if possible. 10 pips. 16 pips. Okay, as I'm saying always, we always have to be realistic and logic when we are setting our take profit because just because I'm entering a 20 pips a day strategy doesn't mean that every single trade has to be 20 pips profit or loss. Doesn't mean that I have to force myself to make a 20 pips even though it, it's not going to happen because 
as per the strategy rules you have to exit your trade at the nearest support or resistance now since i place my trade here right on this support level i have to exit at the nearest resistance and the nearest resistance is just right here this one here as well and this one here as well so this is a resistance level that is the nearest one to my entry i cannot exceed this level i cannot set my take profit to be here for example right on this level and assuming that the market should reach this point it might not reach it so the whole point i'm talking about here is always be logic when you are picking your trades don't force yourself to set a 20 pips uh, uh, profit per trade just forcing it it's not gonna happen so uh, that being said now it's time to find some other trade and actually i'm really interested in trading gold i mean it's a good idea to scalp the gold uh, because it's a very very active pair and a small reversal can means a lot of pips actually look at that just a small pips can give you give you 20 pips uh, of profit and i am now seeking the uh, profit from this pair and let's see if we have any good deal that we can enter so now uh, to the rules let's go back to the four hour chart <laughs> all right so the four hour chart is showing that right now i am on a support level by the way uh, this is my signal we can see that it is still there and i mentioned that the gold should be good for the buy on the level 1552 which is right here i think yeah right here now sadly what happened uh this uh, this uh, support has been breaking out if i'm not mistaken this was due the news about china being removed from the current from the uh, countries that manipulating the currency by usa oh sorry let me rephrase that usa has removed china as a country that manipulates the currencies and therefore that made the, the dollar to be strong and we can see here what happened uh, the that gold has reversed anyway uh, we will uh, make another signal for that on the midweek analysis video uh, let me just uh, continue with this live trading session so all in all we can see that right now on the four hour chart we are right now on a support level right look at the four hour chart you are on a support one here a support two and right now the market is reversing on a support number three so therefore i'm going to look for buy opportunities only i'm not gonna go look for any sell orders and looking at the chart on the 30 minute time frame we can see that we have here a support level and right here and uh, here as well so i believe it's gonna be a smarter idea to bring up this uh, support level uh, line like that and right now i'm gonna wait for the market to reach this level here and after that i'm gonna place my buy order because this support level is strong and we can see that this support here uh, is gonna keep its position as a support it it already has done that we can see this wick here this small tail here representing that here we already have a support number one and i'm going to uh, place my buy order on the support number two so again on 30 minute time frame this support level gonna keep its position as a support and therefore i'm waiting for the market to reach this level and then i'm gonna place the buy order one thing is nice to say here when you see this price action here it's indicating that the pair must likely falling down now if you want to play games here and if you want to be really a professional trader and learn uh, how to read the scandals it's gonna be safe idea to place sell order which, okay guys and i believe this is what will gonna happen uh this cell here is gonna pay off because as i'm t as i said i'm waiting for the pair to reach this support level so this price action here again i'm saying indicating that the market is making the, the pullback and yeah i'm i'm certainly sure that the, the candle is gonna fall down and I'm gonna set my take profit right here on this level and I'm gonna activate and uh, I will active another buy order once the market reached this level here so it's like a saw here we are just like a saw if you know this uh, the saw is uh, look like that I don't know if I can draw it uh, like that 
this is what the carpenter using when they cutting the wood uh this is what we are calling the saw here i'm just like the saw i'm gonna get every single dollar from this pair uh when it's fall down or when it dries up i'm gonna enter and get all of these pips hopefully we are gonna get them all and right now uh this is small account here and this is a big lot size for the small account i don't think i'm gonna be able to enter another trade right now uh, let me now pause this video and I'll be back to you to show you later what happened with both of these trades. So right now we can see that these two trades are in profit and the pound in CD is approaching the target and the take profit is very close. It's just like six pips away. Total so far we are running into almost 11 12 pips of profit now i just want to mention that i'm using here a small account because i am aware that must i got okay let's say must uh, a huge part of my followers here are people who are just learning forex and they want to know how can they do live trades using small account size such as 100 200 dollars it's good for the beginners to know to learn how to use uh, or how to trade forex using these small amounts and therefore I am actually gonna starting uh, doing some more live trades using a small account size just acting like I'm a beginner and show them the reality how they can actually grow their account even though they are using small accounts so they don't really need to make a thousand or five thousand dollars account for the beginning uh, sadly yeah that is the truth a lot of beginners they think that they need a lot of money to invest in forex and they cannot even start trading forex in live account because they think they need a huge investment and that is totally not true so let's check the other one here the the gold is falling down as i expected uh, it's very close to hit the tech profit so far we are running in 10 profit 10 pips of profit and uh, the pound in zd actually that is one of my policies here that I was actually about to close the trade with the profit because we are just very close to the tech profit level yeah but uh, instead I just kept uh, bluffing and talking about the small accounts <laughs> and therefore I just forgot uh, to close the trade anyway I believe the general direction is going up we can see that there is a bounce happened right here because we had here the resistance resistance one and the pair went up here bounced on resistance number two uh hopefully it's not too late hopefully i didn't lose this trade yet uh, let's see what will gonna happen i'm gonna wait for the pair to rise up again all the way here to hit this resistance level so going back to the gold we can see i don't want to do, to do the same mistake uh, remember that my whole my main target is to enter the buy order i want to buy the gold not sell it uh, i just want to show you how we can do some quick scalping on the gold so i'm gonna close this trade right now or not mm, might actually go more give me some more decent profit uh, twelve dollars only all right let's see I'm gonna I'm just gonna wait and see what will gonna happen uh, let me just check again the bond in the D meanwhile let's try to find something else until these two trades uh, gonna give me more clear entry so uh, let's check the pound CAD the pound CAD we can see as well uh, right now I am on a support level on the four hour chart so again on the four hour chart I'm on a support level that means I need to look for any buy opportunity let's go to the smaller time frame uh, 30 minute time frame we can see that the pound AUD is still making the reversal right now we can see on the 30 minute time frame we had this double bottom has uh, approached and we can see here on the left right here we can see that we had here a support level as I said and here as well we have the support level and we can see that the pair has tried to break down or break uh, break out from the support level all these long weeks here entails indicating a huge rejection in breaking out from the support level therefore I'm gonna actually go to the place to sorry to place the buy order and let's do it right now I don't know if my account can hold that all right good nice so let's see the total right now we are on five dollars profit and uh, now of course since I place my my buy order right here I need to set my take profit level and my take profit level is gonna be on the nearest resistance which is unfortunately 13 pips only 
because as I said I place my buy order here my exit should be at the nearest sup uh, support or resistance the nearest resistance to my entry is just uh, this resistance right here which is uh, 13 pips only so again I have to repeat again that since it's a 20 pips a day strategy doesn't necessarily mean you have to aim 20 pips at all that's not necessarily so we have now three trades opened uh, I will pause this video right now and I'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with all these three uh, three trades and we are gonna finish this video with this uh, with these three trades so as you can see now the market almost touching the tech profit level and I'm not a greedy person so $12 of profit I'm gonna close this trade right now no need to wait for it to touch the tech profit uh, let's check the pound CAD still struggling on the trigger area and the gold as well all right let me now pause this video and I'll be back to you soon to show you what will gonna happen all right so the candle almost touching the tech profit level very nice again don't be greedy accept these 12 uh, 10, uh, 10 11 pips of profit and okay good now let me pause this video and show you what will gonna happen with the gold and the gold also now almost touching the profit level and that is very nice so as you can see I just wanted to end this video like that just showing to you how we can do this live trades but however I also want to bring to your attention something really important uh, for this last trade here uh, the gold and um, this one here as I, as I told you the price action said that the, the candles are going down and we will be like we will be taking every single pip like a saw from uh, the pullback and the continuation however uh, I just took this pullback here and I didn't take the continuation for a reason because I was waiting for this candle to reach the support here but what I expected has really happened uh, the momentum kept going in upwards and after uh, this reversal happened here if I place here another buy order which was the original plan of this trade I would have gotten the sell and the buy as well and you can see how the, 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 the pullback or sorry the continuation continued to go all the way until hit the nearest resistance which is right here so if I place my buy order right here I can exit my trade at the nearest resistance and I can get out I could have gotten out with another good profit uh, however that didn't happen and I was just playing uh, being careful with my money however um, just a quick uh, few bucks uh, like around $35 has been made in this short video I just wanted to add another live trading session to my collection in this channel and I just I'm, I'm just really sure that more of live trading videos is what everyone wants to see everyone wants to see because it is really helping everyone to improve their live trading sessions however um, tomorrow we will be f uh, we will be releasing the midweek analysis video and hopefully Friday I will try to make another live trading video using Fibonacci retracements so until then I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching